What you guys got another video here for you now Microsoft has struck again and removed the option to delay or differ Windows 10 updates in Windows 10 Pro let me show you exactly what I mean here so if you're using a, an older version of Windows 10 say up to Windows 10 1909 then you will notice you'll still have the differ options so let me show you here what version we're running here so we're going to open up our run box and do winver and you can see we are running version 1909 after this version you'll have 2004 which is the very latest version and unfortunately on that version they have removed a pretty nice little perk for windows 10 pro users which is to do with uh, changing when you receive your updates so when we go into here and we go to advanced options you will see we have this little area down here which is choose when your updates are installed you could change these settings right here all the way up to 365 days and then you had the quality updates uh, which also includes some uh, security improvements and you can differ uh, these as well if you wanted to up to 30 days and there is also another area here as well so this is on Windows 10 1909 now if you move forward to say the latest update of Windows 10 which is the 2004 version let me show you what Microsoft have done so taking a look here when we type winver in here you can see now we're on version 2004 on this particular build so let me just close this off and show you exactly what it looks like so we're going to go back to the same location update and security and you can see there has been some changes here so we'll go to advanced options and you'll notice that this option has completely changed so now uh, you can't do the 365 days uh, easily from this location they, they have removed this and completely uh, made it difficult for people just to go in here and change it now you can still do up to 35 days here and pause updates up to 35 days but you can't do the different uh, which is uh, changing the amount of time that you want to wait before you install feature updates or security updates now that doesn't mean that you can't still do this via the group policy they are still allowing it up until this point to do it via the group policy but it just means they are forcing you into getting those updates after 35 days as you can see here temporarily paused updates from being installed on this device for up to 35 days when you reach the paused limit your device will need to get the new updates before you can pause again now that doesn't convince me that they are thinking of the consumer or the business person here that are now being forced into updating to the latest version that's just my opinion on it now this feature was always available for Windows 10 Pro users and above and you could always mess around with the uh, times when you want to accept uh, your updates and Windows 10 Home users always had the bad end of the deal so using Windows 10 Pro was a nice way of controlling your updates unfortunately now Microsoft have removed that feature there is still a way of getting access to it and I'll show you how you can do that I've, I've shown you this before in other videos and it's using the group policy editor unfortunately you won't have this option in Windows 10 home but you will have it in Windows 10 Pro so we're going to go GP edit and open up the group policy editor here so what you need to do here is go to computer configuration I'm going to pull this down and go to administrative templates open that one up here and then from there we need to go to Windows components drop that down there I'm just going to open this up and we're going to go to Windows update let me find that there there it is and inside here what we want to do is we want to go to up windows updates for business so inside here you'll see an area inside here and what we're looking for is select when preview builds and feature updates are received 
and this is the area that is uh, what we need to do so when you open this up you have to enable this feature and then you can see here you can now make changes to this area here so semi-annual you can uh, set this up as well you can set it to fast slow or whatever you want to do here so semi-annual uh, channel so you can also set here 365 days like so if you wanted to or you can do 40, uh, 40 days 50 days 60 days whatever it is you want to set this to and this will then allow you to uh, differ those updates now you shouldn't have to do any of this if you look here uh, down the bottom here semi uh, annual channel here which is basically receive feature updates when they are re uh, released to the uh, general public so this is when it's released to the general public and you're now saying you don't want them for up to 365 days and you can also change this to whatever you want here if you look there is some other options available to choose so once you've got your required set in here what you want to do you would just apply this and OK and this will then make that set in stone now it won't give you back your setting inside here this will never ever come back it's been removed uh, by Microsoft themselves but what it will do is it will change that policy as you can see here it says some settings are managed by your organization and you can view that here and it will tell you exactly uh, what is going on and of course that's exactly what we want to do here we want to control this and you can set this up to exactly how you want you still got your uh, paused updates for seven days here and all this stuff this is not changed it's just basically uh, changing the policy for when you receive updates if you want to remove that policy at any time you would have to go back inside here and remove it from here you would have to go back to not configured and then apply this and okay and then you can reset that so basically if you want to reset it you can do by going cmd and then run as administrator GP update this will update the policy here and that's successfully updated and when you go back inside here you will see that that policy has now been removed here it's not showing up so at least you can still enable this feature um, in group policy but how long they leave that policy in there is uh, up to Microsoft at the moment you will have to do it via the group policy rather than doing it inside their update settings there I don't know what the difference is between doing it inside the group policy and there it just makes it a lot easier for people to do it but they seem to have removed it and they have made a statement on it I'm not going to go all through that in this video but I'll leave some links in the video description so you can read them at your own leisure but basically that is the change that for me I think is a little bit forceful to try and force you into updating and this can be a bit more difficult for businesses as well other than that I think I'm going to wrap this one up I think that's just about covers everything in this video my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and uh, I shall see you again real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.